why should girls have all the fun well why really not because the cute magical boys are here to save the world from the loveless oh really Bean and Coco, Chikyu, Buebu Love, or if you want to know the literal translation, it's Cute High Earth Defense Club Love. Did I get that right? Cute High Earth Defense Club Love. Yes, I did get it right. Well, if you want, if anyone wants to know, this is Bean and Coco, Chikyu, Buebu Love. This is the first season. And if you're wondering if this is going to be bad or it's going to be messed up, well, I'll be happy to correct you because this is really good. Surprisingly, really good. Surprisingly, really, really cute. And, well, it's interesting, really. It's pretty much a spoof about all the, uh, based on all the magical girl anime out there and as i said it's surprisingly really really good the series has a set pattern where every episode every story the battle lovers as they are referred to in the story battle a new bad guy with love for well, somehow well you would think that this might become well end up being repetitive or well same but it doesn't really somehow it keeps you interested because with every bad guy with every guy without love well it brings us a new aspect of this show it brings us a new aspect of the cute boys well i don't remember their names but they are cute they are kawaii i'm pretty much trying to impersonate uh, the scene from Skid Dance it won't really come out but it's not relevant here so we'll leave it but yes with all the love these battle lovers battle every loveless guy every loveless guy every episode and somehow it does they turn everything cute even if, if even sometimes if it looks gross it doesn't it looks cute somehow i don't know how they accomplished it but it's really really funny it's filled with whimsy it's filled with its cuteness it's filled with its spontaneity and i really liked it in the long run the art the music were also pretty entertaining nothing spectacular and well the themes also on the other hand really nice again nothing spectacular but yes something which you would expect in the and an in a story in an anime of this yona well one of the best things of this anime is it's not the episodes it's how the characters are evolved from one episode to the next and it's how they come together that makes the point this is an anime without females so we get to see them every day in their own element with their quirks with their own tics and what makes them come together what makes their friendship so strong against those of the bad guys it's really a serial experience it's really entertaining i'd say they battle everyone with their love and wow it was really entertaining okay i know i'm repeating the same thing again but really this was just cute but this is an anime about love so of course you'll pardon the parlance you'll pardon me if i repeat the word love throughout this video but yes i definitely suggest it people go see it 
it's amazing i am not sure everyone would really like it because this is actually a parody as i stated in the beginning but give this a chance it's really good and i'm hoping it will affect you like it did to me so with that in mind i do hope you'll see it but before do that go down below give your like comment share subscribe to my channel because we have something coming up next that i've been mean i've been excited for it for a long time i will of course review bin and coco season 2 as well i haven't begun watching it it just finished its run i think i'm definitely going to watch it i hope you will too and stay tuned for my next video which will be my review of fantastic beast and where to find them it's back to the harry potter world and i am really really excited to share my views with you all so till then enjoy